Welcome to the EE Research Seminar Series. Pro-environmental behavior is an important environmental education outcome. In this video, we draw from the work of environmental education scholars to explore what is pro-environmental behavior. Many educators claim that environmental education contributes to environmental literacy, knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes, and thus strengthens their pro-environmental behavior. According to this viewpoint, changes in individual behavior help to solve environmental and natural resources management problems. So what is pro-environmental behavior? Some scholars point out that there is no absolute standard for determining what behavior is pro-environmental. Riding a private car may be considered as environmentally friendly when compared to flying a private jet. At the same time, walking or biking may be more environmentally sound compared to taking public transportation. But researchers offer several broad definitions of pro-environmental behavior. For example, some researchers define pro-environmental behavior by its influence on ecosystems and by use of materials and energy. Others define pro-environmental behavior as human activities that minimize any negative impacts on the environment or any behaviors that are comparatively better for the environment. Whereas many publications refer to pro-environmental behavior in terms of consumption patterns, other publications indicate that pro-environmental behavior may also include involvement in environmental advocacy, environmental stewardship, membership in environmental associations, and other behaviors that positively alter the environment. Some researchers distinguish four types of pro-environmental behavior. Private action, such as choosing to bike instead of drive or utilize the reusable shopping bags. Organizational actions, influencing organizations to which one belongs, such as promotion of composting at work. Public non-activist action, such as attending environmental meetings or willingness to pay higher taxes for environmental protection and activist action, such as protesting, signing petitions, and belonging to an environmental organization. Other researchers distinguish different types of pro-environmental behavior, such as civic action, educational action, financial action, legal action, physical action, and persuasive action. However, remember, environmental quality depends not only on individual pro-environmental behavior, but also on actions taken by communities, organizations, and governments. An individual's pro-environmental behavior could be turning off a light when leaving a room or volunteering in a tree planting event. A community-level pro-environmental effort could be establishing an urban farm. An organization or corporation could introduce an environmental management system. A government could pass a law that encourages recycling and carpooling. At the same time, viewing pro-environmental behavior as the main or the only goal of environmental education is a little limiting. It would be more correct to see pro-environmental behavior as one important outcome of environmental education, along with several other outcomes, such as social norms, involvement in environmental governance, and developing new approaches to address environmental and related social issues. For your environmental education program, you can choose any existing definitions of pro-environmental behavior to help you monitor your success. Or you can create your own specific definitions of pro-environmental behavior to suit the needs of your program, audience, and settings. Your programs probably already focus on promoting some specific pro-environmental behaviors, such as related to waste disposal, civic engagement, natural resources conservation, consumption, transportation, or lifestyle choices. Whatever pro-environmental behavior you want to promote, this behavior should reflect the ultimate goals of your environmental education program. For example, if your program aims to improve biodiversity in the neighborhood, perhaps you want to promote such behaviors as participation in environmental stewardship in parks or establishing a butterfly garden to attract pollinators. And again, please remember that promoting specific types of pro-environmental behavior may require using specific teaching approaches. If your program is trying to promote certain pro-environmental behaviors, 
we encourage you and your colleagues to articulate these behaviors and discuss how you can encourage such behaviors through your environmental education program. In the comments section under this video, we would like to hear from you what kinds of behavior your program is trying to encourage. In this presentation, we used a number of publications that you consult for more information. EE research seminars are designed to help you understand environmental education research and to improve your environmental education programs. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to check other EE research seminars.